Back to Everyday Iowa. Taylor Parker with Concept by Iowa Hearing joins me. So we've discussed hearing loss as it pertains to diabetes yep. and with um, dementia. Yeah. Today's another one that I didn't know had a connection <laughs> yeah. to hearing loss and that's osteoporosis. Yeah, and you know, when you think about our body, our body mm -hmm. is just all connected. Everything mm -hmm. works as one. Um, and when you think about osteoporosis, it's you know low bone density. Um, and the three smallest bones that we have in our body are actually in our middle ear. So these three little bones are part of the acicular chain that, you know, when, when sound hits the eardrum, the eardrum carries it through these three little bones, then it sends it to the cochlea, the cochlea then processes it and sends it to the brain where the brain then discerns what information is received. But if those three little bones are damaged from osteoporosis, then they can't send that full signal to the brain. And then, you know, we have to, mm -hmm. through testing, we can figure out is, is it something that we can treat with hearing devices or would we need to refer you out to an ear, nose, and throat specialist for a middle ear issue where then maybe they could do something surgically or, or you know, okay. some other options as well. So it's just understanding that, you know, the body being connected and everything working as one. Mm -hmm. If you've got bones in, you know, one part, it's going to affect, and it always starts in the smallest and never go, you know, never starts with the largest and goes backwards. Okay. The smallest are always affected mm -hmm. first, whether it's blood vessels, right. bones, okay. anything like that. Yeah. So the three little bones are pretty critical when it comes to hearing loss. And, See? you know, it's one, just, you know, I'm, I'm here to help, I'm here to help know, educate. Right? That's what we're here for. Once again, I learned something new. I, that's that's yeah. the goal. So this is something that will affect women probably more than men. Yeah, and they really okay. don't know why. They mm -hmm. can't figure out why osteoporosis yeah. affects women more than men, but mm -hmm. it does. So you know, typically, um, it's it's going to be a situation where yeah. if you've been diagnosed with you know osteoporosis mm -hmm. or pre, um, you probably should have your hearing screened, okay. no matter when that is, mm -hmm. just to understand because these three little bones play a, a you know a good sized role. That you know, checking and finding out if you have a hearing loss. Well, is one right. of those things you find, should find out. Right, okay. So you said there's some different things we can do to correct it. That we can help with it. Help with it. Yes. Not only correct it, correct. but you can help. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, if we test and find out that um, hearing devices, that it's something that we can help with, mm -hmm. we would treat you with hearing devices. Okay. But if it's something, again, that we should refer you out to an ear, nose, and throat specialist because it's it's not really related, not so much the hearing loss portion, mm -hmm. but it's something that maybe they can, um, you know, help with, okay. then we would refer you out and then they would take it from there. Okay. and. And if they ever needed to refer you back for hearing devices, then they would do that. But okay. if it's something that they can work on, whether it's surgical um, or a medical process, then you know, okay. then something that they can. So handle. it could be both. You could end it, up. It, you definitely both. could. Yeah, okay. you definitely can end up um, having both. Yeah. Are there preventative measures that someone can take? Um, you know, not really. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, speak to your um, physician about mm -hmm. things you can do for the osteoporosis itself. Okay. But other than that, it's just yeah. it's part of the process right. that if you have it, it could <laughs> affect your hearing, and yeah. you know, then it's then here you yeah. are. Part of getting older. Um, <laughs> it can be, yeah. Yeah. One of the joys. So what are the next steps someone should take? Um, I guess, you know, the, the easiest thing to do would be to um, give us a call, mm -hmm. schedule that free hearing screening, and just find out is, you know, do I have a hearing loss? Um, is osteoporosis playing a role in this? Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, through our testing, we can, you know, diagnose quite a bit of it. Okay. But so, the first step's getting your hearing screened. Right, getting your hearing Always. screened. And yes, yeah, because if you're a woman, especially at a certain age, if you're premenopausal or postmenopausal, menopausal, that's usually when you are yeah. affected by osteoporosis the most. And, and by yeah. then you should have already had your hearing screened. Okay. Um, uh -oh. You know, we always, recommend, <laughs> we always recommend now with all these studies that are coming out, yeah. everything's looking at, at just ages so much younger that okay. we recommend 45 to 50 and above. Oh, oh, you get okay. your hearing screened. So, uh -oh. ballpark. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm there. It's just, <laughs> one of those, it's just one of those things that you should add to, you mm -hmm. know, knowing all the health conditions now and how everything is so intertwined. Right. Adding hearing screening to that, okay. I mean, it's free, it's quick, it's simple. Yeah. You know, a couple hours out of right. your life to find out, do, you know, at least get a baseline. Okay. That's the important thing. Just get that Just baseline, baseline to find out. Yeah. All right. And how can people contact you or get more information? Um, easiest thing to do, we've got, you know, 15 locations around the state, multiple mm -hmm. in this, you know, in the viewing mm -hmm. area. Easiest way, just go to iowahearing.com. You can book your appointment right through our website. Oh, you don't even have okay. to talk to anybody. Okay. Um, but you can book it right on our website, mm -hmm. choose the clinic you want to go to, the time, and just go ahead and book it. And okay. then the process okay. is easy from there. So maybe at my age, I should probably think about that. Probably should. Okay, I will do that. All right. All right. Thank you so much for being here Thanks today. For I appreciate me. it. Good to see you. All right. Good to see you.